This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Aurora, Colorado. I'm here with Rise Beyond Dreams International Foundation. Since 2012, they have been helping people who've received life-threatening diagnosis, experienced life-altering accidents, to recovery and beyond. I'm here with Dennis Kolb, who is the basically CEO, the founder of this organization. Let's begin a little bit with you. Um, Dennis, share with me, go back when you decided to put this together. Why is it you decided to do it and what got you involved? You know, it was based on my own experience. Right before my graduation, my high school graduation, I was diagnosed with cancer, leukemia, and that pretty much changed my world. Uh, it was kind of very abrupt. Um, I was very healthy and, uh, you know, sometimes life just hits you. And this was one of those times. So I went into the hospital and found out my diagnosis. You know, I'd really become okay with it. I accepted it because all of my life I had heard that everything happens for a reason. So if everything happens for a reason, then all is as it should be. Everything that has happened has brought us to now. And that I'm okay with that, that I accept that reality. And, um, you know, at that point, I was actually pretty pessimistic about my own survival. But what had happened was when I was diagnosed, I went into the hospital room and I was surrounded by family and friends who were there to see me off, essentially. And uh, seeing the pain and anguish in their eyes really inspired me to try to move forward in my own journey. That is amazing. So people in the room there, um, you were basically drawing from them. I mean, quite honestly, like you said, you made it through high school there. Um, as a young adult, you realize, like most of us, there's going to be challenges in life. There's going to be roadblocks. But many times we experience challenges that we had no idea were going to set us back. Um, and quite honestly, it affects everyone. Not only um, age, gender, race, anyone across the board, what are some of the walks of life that your foundation is able to help with? What kind of folks? Really anybody that is affected by a life-threatening diagnosis and or a debilitating accident. So anybody across the board you're able to help there. I mean, I would imagine when a diagnosis like this comes down, it really throws your life out of balance. How important is a rebalancing, not only of body, but of spirit, of mind? How important is that? And, and is that a, some of the techniques that you're able to provide? Yes, essential actually, um, because I went through uh, training with Les Brown. He essentially got me to the point where I am now that I realized back when I was diagnosed that I asked the doctors, essentially, what kind of tools could I use to survive this? And they said, well, an optimistic mind is really all you have, you know. So um, essentially think that you will survive. And from that point on, you know, I actually realized a few things that I had an oxygen um, sensor on my finger. And I realized that the deeper I breathe, the better the oxygen rate in my body. And then I had a blood pressure cuff. And I realized that if I could calm myself, then the blood pressure would actually go down. So our mind is very essential to controlling our body. And I believe that that is one reason that I made it through. That is amazing. I mean, quite honestly, when a diagnosis appears like that, many times for folks, it's, it's out of the blue. I mean, they didn't expect it. They didn't see it coming. Um, what are some of the diseases that you've been able to help with folks out there, not only that of cancer? Um, pretty much anybody that has been affected in the way that I was to where, you know, when your life is cut off, essentially, and you don't know what to do. You kind of feel alienated from the rest of society because you're either handicapped or you're different. And I believe that, th that through that difference, um, we can find empowerment because going through those different experiences, we actually learn a lot about life. Learn a lot about life. One of the things that I'm sure you experience and folks do as well, no longer are you making simple decisions. We're not thinking about where you're going to school, what car you're going to buy next. But quite honestly, life-altering decisions are around every corner at those critical times. Is this the kind of support team that you hope to provide for people to, to help them navigate through that map? Yes, yes. I, I believe it's necessary, um, not only for patients, 
to be able to relay on, rely on each other for support and their own experiences and say, hey, you know, I made it through, so can you. But also the, the families, because after my chemotherapy had finished, my mother was actually diagnosed with her own life-threatening diagnosis. Man. So it just goes on and on in a perpetual situation. And another thing that happened while I was diagnosed was one of my good friends almost attempted suicide because I was affected the way that I was, he lost the motivation in his own life. And so it affects the patient, but it affects the family and the friends, and this is what we're addressing. That is interesting. I mean, I mean, just a simple social gathering between family or friends used to be easy to do. I imagine in that situation, like you say, there's alienation, there's basically all eyes on me. Um, it has to be pretty overwhelming. I mean, you're appreciative of the fact that you've got people who are sympathetic, empathetic, but then again, it's overwhelming. Do you help people overcome that, that those challenges? Yeah, yeah, from every angle. You know, we um, essentially we give them hope for the future because we have a, a section called WellTech, and WellTech actually provides... Um, the knowledge of different technologies that are based in, that are brand new, essentially. So, you know, that gives you hope because with the brand new technologies, you're able to achieve more and you're able to um, mend damages that you couldn't before. And so having hope in the, the future gives us power in the present power in the present. Obviously, they're all working towards the future. They're going down a, a different road they didn't plan on before. I imagine along the way, there are many milestones. How important is it that they celebrate each step of those milestones? That's a good thing to bring up because we have, um, you know, not only local events that we're going to do, but we're going to do national events as well. And uh, really just to inspire people to, to give the... Um, the appreciation that they deserve, you know, for the accomplishments that they made. Wonderful. We're talking integrity um, is something that is very important, I imagine, throughout um, your time doing that. What about the folks that are helping you out, your, um, your members, people that help out, these rising stars, your alumni? Are these folks that have gone through something themselves as well? Yeah, yeah. All of us have gone through either a life-threatening diagnosis or we've encountered a debilitating accident. That's amazing. So you've, you've walked that walk. You know what it feels like. Because uh, I imagine many times these folks are in shock uh, for a good first part of it. And then they start slowly feeling alienated. Um, a, a gamut of emotions that you probably experience. Is that right? Yeah, it's pretty amazing, actually. And um, I've actually got a book coming out next month that goes over 30 to 35 different authors, um, different experiences about how they handled different traumatic events in their life. So it's really a community that we're trying to build here of people that have been through these traumatic areas and can help others when facing the same thing. Facing the same thing, getting back into society. I imagine just something as simple as an um, as employment. You're now in a new situation, possibly you can't do something you could before. How do you help them uh, overcome that, even overcome uh, employer reluctance um, to basically reach out um, to some of these folks? Well, first of all, our program, you know, not only inspires their passions, because through passion, it gives you the motivation to live and to thrive. And so through that passion, um, essentially, we give them different options in which they can aspire for greatness and different channels in which they can, they can look for job opportunities at a better rate. Excellent. That's part of your uh, mastery workshop as well, something they can go through there. Speaking of the workshops, viewer, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is the website. First of all, on the website, you're going to learn a little bit more about this foundation. This basically began as a personal experience for somebody who sat in a hospital room and realized those folks that were around him, quite honestly, in many ways, um, didn't know how to help. And he, in the same way, had to find ways to help himself. He reached out. He basically found mentors. And now he's providing an organization that will do the same thing for folks that experience these life-altering events. Um, we have spoke, obviously, about diagnosis of disease, but this also works for accidents as well. Um, what are some of the accidents you've uh, been able to help folks get through? Um, well, myself, uh, as an example, I was actually overdosed with chemotherapy during the process of dealing with the cancer. 
and I've, I've gained a peripheral neuropathy in my legs, which has essentially the doctors told me I would never walk again. But through the hope and aspirations and motivation, you know, I've been able to get myself to a cane. And um, in that way, uh, we want to empower a lot more people. It's all about empowering people. Obviously, you began this to help folks that have gone something that you went through. How does the community reach out and help? Um, how are they able to give donations? And how important is it to you to make sure those donations are being used in the best way possible? Well, first of all, I have my experience that I was telling you about earlier with Les Brown in the book. It's called Mission Unstoppable, which they can purchase now. And um, that talks about different people's experiences. Um, the other way that they can go is the website. We have a shopping cart as well on there and a place for donations. And we're going to have a, a dynamic blog situation on the website where people are allowed to tell their own story to raise the funds that they need for their own um, medical bills. Interesting. You're definitely an inspiration to folks out there as well as myself. I had to come down and interview you. Um, let me ask you, you began by saying you felt that everything happens for a reason. Does it kind of overwhelm you the fact that you have now built relationships, uh, bonds with folks that you probably never would have met before? Yeah, actually, it's very inspiring because I'm, I'm kind of living, you know, my own dream of, you know, rising beyond my own dreams because when I actually came up with that title. I was in the hospital on um, essentially what they said my deathbed. And, um, you know, I realized that I had to rise beyond my own dreams of um, success and aspirations and become something more. Fantastic. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen. Last time you're going to see the website there. This is an organization that was built by an individual, a young man who basically was uh, just coming out of, of high school and found himself going down a path, a road that he probably didn't expect. And I imagine there are folks out there that um, need support as well. Like we said, it doesn't just affect the individual, but truly your entire circle, your family, your friends, everyone involved. Um, make sure and click right there. You can donate right there on the website. Website. Also, check them out on Facebook. They keep you apprised of any events they have going out there. This is a local organization, but his dreams and aspirations are definitely nationwide helping folks out there to recovery and beyond. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.